Kindly, I request uh, to finish the other question with your kind permission. Thank you, because I had to, but I <laughs> it's a privilege of being the first. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Speaker. Uh, I just want to know where the nominee came from, the Military of Defense, because I happen to have served uh, in the Committee of Defense and interacted with the Ministry a lot. There is something peculiar that happened that I've not seen where the public officers use defense choppers, military choppers, and the military uh, artillery to move around the country, put in the risk of the defense, um, and, and of course the, the officers. In fact, in the public domain, it can be true or not true, which if not true, I will withdraw, is that the military has feared you. You have become more military than the, than the military themselves. Is it true, and why did the military fear you? I don't think uh, the military fear me, but uh, you, have co you have put many things. You, I don't know, you talked about choppers, and then you brought the issue of fear. So is it, are you saying I fear going by military choppers? No, I said uh, I've never seen uh, other public officers, other than the president, who is the commander-in-chief, using military choppers to move around the country and the uh, other members of the public office who are not in the military. Uh, and also, there is a why. Are you talking of civilians? Because Civilian. military officers are also public officers. Yeah, like, when, when, like the uh, deputy president, mm -hmm. like the ministers. This is something that I've never seen for us sometimes. So I wanted just him to clarify whether also deputy president is allowed to use military choppers. Uh, or was it a um, misuse of power in your... Because it's something that Mr. I've never seen yeah, yeah. with the previous ministers. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, uh, let me say it because it gave me a lot of uh, bad publicity. But when you serve in a public office, that's part of life. Within the reading and the instruction of the Commander-in-Chief, at the Ministry of Defense, the Commander-in-Chief is the president. The president and the first lady are the people allowed to use military air assets with a rider. If the commander in chief allows the speaker of the National Assembly to be airlifted from Nairobi to Bungoma, that is in order, but with the concurrence of the Commander-in-Chief. I don't know, I don't think uh, the rank and the file and the leadership of the Defense Ministry fear me. Maybe my style. And uh, I'll take the same style to Forrest. I'll take the same style. I have the same style in, in, in Parliament. We have, no we have no evidence that they fear you, Mukami.